All right, she didn't want to come up before, but there we go. Boom. Okay. And we're going to go into the BIOS. And what we have to do with these guys is uh, she was just a little cranky, probably because actually she has no drive. So, there we go. So, we go in here. And what we need to do, all right. We're going to go actually over to here, start up. And yeah, of course you don't have a mouse. Okay, right here. Okay, we have to disable this. You cannot change the disc layout, which is empty. Okay, so now we're going to load set up the faults. Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to come over here and do your standard configs. Uh-huh. Okay, LCD, type C, I bump up that, I bump up that to five seconds. These are just my personal preferences. Okay, good, okay, okay, PP view, HT enabled, uh -huh. BIOS assist, we don't need that. Okay, okay. AMT enabled. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fingerprint. Good. Security enabled. Okay. TXT enabled. Okay. Alright. Info enabled. Memory protection enabled. Virtualization. Hell yes. These machines are going to be. VMware boxes bottom cover enabled storage enabled anti-theft we're not worried about that right now SGX disabled okay uh-huh software control okay so there we go okay we we'll save changes. Yes. And exit saving changes. Yes. Now, we're coming back around to the boot menu. Now, it'll do this by default anyway, but I'm going to force it. So when it gets to, and it's going to look different because now it's UEFI, or the UEFI is turned off, so it's in BIOS mode right now. Okay, so the... It'll probably reboot once before it actually comes up. Yes. There. Power itself back on. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to hit enter again. There we go. Loading the menu. Okay. Now I'm going to do an F12. I'm going to put it in a boot device selection. And I'm going to select this drive. Okay. And you can see there's the Samsung 970 Evo Plus. And a USB hard drive. That's what I want. Boom. Why do we have to do this? This is a blank drive. We want to lay it out with the factory partitions first. And then we'll zero out the C drive and put my corporate image on it. Okay. And again, asset tags in place. The machine's going to be named based on the asset tag a little later on. But uh, there we go. And enter F12 why did it do that I think it's booting off of this yep it is it's doing its thing now And then again, I, I think we've got 60 to 80 of these things, so, you know, I contact Lenovo support. I, I'd like to buy a recovery disc, please, and I give them the serial number of any one of the machines. And they're really nice. They just sent me one. No charge. I bought them before. If they want me to pay for it, I'll pay for it. They're usually really good about it. I agree to these concerns. Yes. There's nothing on the hard drive. 
this is going to reset that hard drive that I just put into it and basically turn it into a Lenovo's delivery. So, at this point in time, okay, well, I've got these down here. And this is going to take a few minutes. I only have one of these. So the idea is, while this is happening, get the next one ready. Because as soon as this is done, I'm going to move and use the recovery media to put our, fact, our corporate image on here. So I need to have another machine ready when this is done. And this will take a little while, so I'm going to get prepped for the next one. All right, that guy's in the background. You can see he's running now, so I'm going to go into this one. I've already popped the drive in this bad boy. I already put an asset tag on it. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing we did before. Again, they're just doing a recovery over there. It's completely automatic. Once it's ready to run Windows, I'll switch the uh, disk at layout back for full UEFI. Alright, and then I'm going to set up else. Done. Well, okay. It was a bit of a shop emergency. And we're good. Um, get this, this guy in the startup. Okay, F12. Boot off of the memory stick. And yes, it's here. Why? Because that's there. So that guy's ready for the next step. So here's the USB disc. If it freaks out, i will have to do it one more time. Okay, tick tock, tick tock. Booting off the drive, good, okay. Well, that guy's ready to go. And basically when we get to the, that's called the sysprep machine. When we get to the sysprep, this machine's ready to go. So I can just power this down. All right, I'm gonna drive my jump drive. And it took about 15 minutes to get it to that point. These are SSDs, so these machines run fast. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and stick that drive in right where we had the, uh, the other. Okay, I'm gonna boot that bad boy up again. Whoop, I'm gonna tell this guy, yes, do what you need to do. Agree? Yes, I know I'm going to wipe that hard drive. You betcha. And away she goes. So, back here. I'm going to hit it. Okay. Whoopsie. Didn't want that. No. Nope. Okay. Just hibernated. So, what we need to do is push and hold. Okay, there we go. Now she powered off. Okay. Now we want to see the Lenovo start screen. There we go. Now we hit enter. Okay. Now the startup menu. Back to F12. Different jump drive now. Again, we're going to erase that C drive. We just needed the disk layout and the other partitions. Okay. This is the Samsung SSD. There we go. That's got Windows PE on it. There we go. So, and this little guy's doing his thing. I, as soon as I get this spinning, then I go on to the next machine. That way, that machine is ready to go when this guy is ready for imaging. There we go. Check this out. Okay. So. Well, no, I don't need to disk part. So I'm just going to format C, and I'm going to go into, uh, well, I'm going to check disk part just to show me the disks. Okay. This volume. And there we go. We got our C drive, 930 gig. There's our wind recovery drive. So this is the file system layout that 
that that uh, Lenovo stick created, and here's my SSD. So it's the D drive. All right. So there we go. Now I say exit. Okay. And that just says Windows. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to call it Windows. So I say form or out. Yeah. I'm going to go over to D. Okay. Check that out. Right. And what do I got here? 12. Q. 16. Another score. Okay. And there's my wins. So. There's my win files. And the one I want to use is 1108. Yeah, that's the US one. Okay, great. That's a 24 gig win. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to form that. B. Windows. All right, S is the uh, short names, okay, has to support 8.3, and without the S enabled, actually the file system only supports, it doesn't support 8.3 truncation, so you know, the Windows doesn't understand it, so there we go, okay, Windows, OWS, are you sure, yes, do, 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 do. Okay. Now. No, you don't have to type all of that. I'm doing it on purpose. All right. Okay. Scroll up a little bit. that right click okay up a little bit that's the one I want okay just tag uh -huh. enter come back here Right click. Space. C. One. There we go. I'm not going to explain how to use this thing. That's the command I use to recover this image. Boom. Oops. C. I don't do it every day, like I said. I designed this. I created the master. But I'm not the guy who builds these things every day. And there we go. And that's ripping off of this uh, Samsung T3. Let's, uh, let's see if it's flashy, flashy. I figure it is. Oh, yeah, there we go. You can tell it's bing 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 bing. Okay. Uh, there we go. Seven minutes of raining. That's that's no problem at all. Nine minutes. It'll bounce around, and it usually takes anywhere from you know five to ten minutes. Yeah, it's ripping. 
six percent. Again, that image is only 24 gig. Seven percent, yeah. So this will be done in no time. All right, this one's ready. So I'm actually behind, but like I said, emergencies. So I'm gonna get the third one set up, swap the drives, and then this one is gonna be ready for image recovery. So I've got it. No more than 10 minutes to get that started. Bye. All right, and we can see uh, this recovery right here is still going. So that machine is done and ready to deploy. This machine is still building. This machine is ready to start the recovery. So I'm going to say next. I'm going to say I agree. And next. And yes, and that's going to wipe the drive, and away it goes. But again, we're still waiting on this guy, so it's a bit of a lag. That took eight minutes, so I'm going to do the uh, P, P, U, 2. Shut down. Okay. The PEU till shutdown. Good. Okay, and it powered down, so I can take that jump drive out of there. Just a yank. All right. Okay. I'm gonna have it on this one next, but it's still working. So this guy, I can power him up, and once I've got a booting operating system, I can go and make sure. The very next reboot, I'll reset that BIOS. my factory image so cool you see no jump drive plugged in she's she's a regular machine and it comes up at sys prep it's already preloaded with all my software so I'm good to go. I've only got five more to finish. <laughs> there we go. And I got some English. Yes. You know my standard load up. I don't care, Katana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just have to wait for the next. That's doing its thing, that's doing its thing, and that's doing its thing. Ooh, that means I better get another one out of the box. And get busy. Oh, see, she's starting to talk to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can see I haven't changed the startup any. It's standard. I better get number four out. This one's doing a disk recovery. That one's in the middle of the process. This guy burning a whim. The factory image. And it won't take 12 minutes. That'll tick down. That guy's pretty much ready to log into. As soon as it's done doing what it's doing, this machine's ready to use. And that's it. I got four of them done. I got two more to get done. finish up leave all six of them up so the engineers can do a quick test and make sure that they're ready for how they want to use them and uh, that's it